I even need to push the forward at all? Yes. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash orthoexpress. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 Comments falling from This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Concussions, they're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne mad ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ant in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. 
Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to High School Volleyball here on SummitCitySports.com. We have got an outstanding match for you tonight. If you think it's hot outside here in Northeast Indiana, it's about to be on fire here at Concordia High School. The Lady Cadets of Concordia will host the Bishop DeWanger Saints in what is going to be the city championship here tonight in the Summit Athletic Conference as these two teams roll into this game both undefeated in conference play. The winner of tonight will take the Summit Athletic Conference uh, this season. So uh, a very good matchup here at Concordia High School. The two teams uh, still getting warmed up. We've got a little over 10 minutes to uh, before we get started here. It is senior night at Concordia, so that's why we're a little bit behind, and we had some technical difficulties. Tonight, tonight uh, Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 sports and don't forget to like our facebook page summit city sports my i'll be your broadcaster tonight my name is ryan dellinger i'll be your host for tonight's uh, game here at concordia these two teams uh, like i said they're on a roll this season and uh concordia dealing with some injuries but have found some new people to step up and uh they will need them tonight against a high-powered bishop dewanger team at Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We are the region's largest integrated sports medicine team, providing athletes specialized services from improving their performance to recovering from injury. To learn more, log on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Kelly Automotive, Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. The world is waiting for you to make a difference in any way that you can. Discover your strengths at Indiana Wesleyan's residential campus in Marion, Indiana. Visit indwes.edu to learn more about becoming a Wildcat. The Big Eyed Fish has been around Northeast Indiana for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. The University of St. Francis offers 1,000% job employment in select programs and 1,000% rates on many licensors' exams. With over 2,300 students, the University of St. Francis is located in the heart of Fort Wayne. Visit sf.edu to learn more. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. To learn more about our services, log on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Well, we've got about eight minutes to go. We'll take a t quick timeout. We'll come back and we'll uh, preview these two high-powered teams. And tonight, at some point, probably between sets one and two, we'll preview the sectionals, uh, the Concordia, where Concordia is going in their sectional, and then between sets two and three, we'll preview where Bishop DeWanger is headed off to play in their sectional matchups. You're watching High School Volleyball on SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way, offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, 
pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far, so they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. Welcome back to Concordia High School. The two teams continue their uh, warm-ups here as we get ready for action and some of the athletic play tonight. First of all, let's take a look at the Bishop DeWanger Saints. They are rolling this season 26-2 overall, 9-0 in conference play. They're led by their head coach, Tim Hauser. They have big wins this season over Angola, Concordia, Leo Carroll, a very good Muncie Burris team, and Blackhawk Christian just last night where they won in straight sets. Their losses are to Belmont and Providence. Belmont, one of the top teams in 3A, and uh, they beat Dwinger on opening night, but that's been a long time ago, and it's been a long time since uh, the, the Saints have lost a match. Their last match was to Providence, a very good team that's come all the way from 2 to 4A. This past weekend, the Chargers won the Charger Invitational, and uh, the Saints also won the preseason SAC to tournament where they beat the cadets in five sets tonight for the bishop dewanger saints they will look to get a bunch of their outside hitting going especially the one the only the swiss army knife of their team anna burkhardt on the season with 208 kills and 349 digs also in the middle form tonight delaney hogan with 221 kills and Maddie Ellis will play both on the outside and the backside tonight, and she has 134 kills on the season. And then there's, we'll just keep on rolling with the people that actually just absolutely pound the ball for this team. Taya Daisy with 131 kills. She'll uh, play in the front row. Molly Burns with 153 kills on the season. But the person that will make it all run, and if she can spread the ball out evenly across the, the court to her players, and uh, that will be Maddie Ross, the senior six foot one setter on the season with 112 kills, 718 assists, and 131 digs. So the Saints absolutely loaded from all over the court. Then they'll have uh, their back row specialist, Sarah McTagg. She, she has 340 digs on the season. So uh, she'll have to be a big weapon tonight and have to pass the ball for the Saints if they want to be victorious here at Concordia High School. For the Lady Cadets, they're coached by Trisha Miller. She's in her team 24 and 6, and they uh, suffered some injuries in the midway part of the season, which made some other girls had to get out on the court and play, and they have turned up the heat, those other players. Maddie Anderson, one of them, 175 kills on the season now. And uh, Jenna Mueller with 124 kills, and she's coming off an injury. Then there's uh, uh, Alyssa Henline with 238 kills on the season for that young lady she has a eight or she has 189 digs to go along with all those kills so she is a very good player for the cadets carolyn morrison will be the setter tonight for the cadets on the season 817 assists and she'll do most of the action as the setter her and uh Can canablo were uh, the setters that share duty, but they have changed up. They've gone just with Carolyn Morrison here on the back end of the season, and she's done an outstanding job. She'll have Julia Evans in the backcourt, the Librero with 251 digs on the season, and London Betts with 210 digs. London Betts game from the from the service line, 50 aces on the season. Their big wins this season over Homestead, Blackhawk Christian, Noblesville, and just an absolute beatdown a week ago against Carroll where they won in straight sets. Their losses have come to Belmont, Dwanger, Leo, Laporte, Warsaw, and the number one overall ranked team in the state of Indiana, Yorktown. So they've had some tough, tough competition, have the cadets. Why don't we take one more time out and when we come back, we'll have the start of the action here at Concordia High School. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. Automotive Group is simple, transparent, 
reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. We're back live here at Concordia High School for the start of our Summit Athletic Conference. We're going to call a championship match here tonight as the cadets of Concordia will take on the Bishop DeWanger Saints. These two teams have been looking forward to this match for most of the season. And uh, once again, it will be for the conference title as these two teams have played some outstanding volleyball on the season. They're just what each of these two teams are just a week away from sectional play. And like I said earlier, we're going to review uh, the sectional draw for Concordia during the first break between sets one and two, and then we'll look at DeWanger's draw where uh, they got put in the group of death, and uh, they've got the three toughest teams all sitting in the same pod and same side of the bracket uh, for the Saints along with Angola and Leo. So uh, when we get started here, we'll turn it over to the public address announcer, Kim Nash, and you will hear the non-starters for both teams and all of the players. Man, it is jam packed in here tonight the Dwanger site completely full the Concordia site about half full and still filling up as we are at senior night here at Concordia High School don't forget Friday night we'll have some athletic conference action on in football all over the area as uh, the season winds down sectional draw not too far off in the distance Bishop Dwanger on top right now they lead everybody 7-0 in conference and a win over the Snyder Panthers this Friday night they will go over to Snyder and pick up that victory bell and they'll have the opportunity to ring it for a whole year next year. Coach Jason Garrett's team rolling here this season, and they have a big, fast, and uh, a very seasoned team. So we've got about 13 seconds to go here before the final bell goes off, and we'll be live from Concordia High School. Dwanger tonight will be dressed in their navy blue uniforms. With, we'll call them uh, silverish Silverish numbers. Concordia will be dressed in their all whites tonight with maroon numbers. It looks like Kim Nash is about ready to take over here. A little bit of a hardware work to the net.
Addison Agent will sing our national anthem. Treated to the vocals of Addison Agent tonight here as a special guest. They snuck her in on us. We didn't know she was going to be here. And she turns out to be here on senior night for the cadets as they will take on Bishop DeWanger for the Summit Athletic Conference title tonight here on Summit City Sports. Tomorrow night, we'll have high school soccer semifinals for you coming to you live from, uh, well, I will be at Homestead tomorrow night to uh, do some matches out there and uh, get a chance to watch some fine soccer action tomorrow. I'll, and at some point during the, the, the night, we will, uh, we will have all of the soccer for you. I'll let you know where we're doing games from. So on the court now, we'll take a look at Bishop DeWanger. Matty Ross on the tour with De Taya Daisy. And I think she's going to come out. McTagg will come in for her, along with Maddie Ellis, Anna Burkhart. Molly Burns and Delaney Hogan. On the court for the cadets, it'll be Henline, McGaffick, Carolyn Morrison, Craig, Anderson, and Mueller. And McGaffick will come off and Julia Evans onto the court to Librero for the cadets tonight. So Concordia going with a little bit of a bigger lineup tonight. I have not seen this starting lineup from them this season. Matty Ellis back to serve, and we are ready to go in our title match here tonight on Summit City Sports. <laughs> Coach Hauser, Coach Trish Miller both looking at each other. They're ready to go. There's a whistle, and we'll have our first serve of the night. Concordia will need to pass the ball very well. Anderson backside to Craig, tight to the net, blocked back over, and it'll land out of bounds. And the cadets on the board. McTagg into the lineup, and she'll replace Maddie Ellis. Into the lineup comes Canablo, and Craig will check out for the cadets. Canablo will serve. Canablo, one of the better servers for the cadets on the season, has 61 aces. Good. And make it 62. Forty out to a do nothing lead. She comes right in, serves right at McTagg, and it's a, it's an error. Good pass by Burkhart to Ross in the middle to Hogan. She'll float it, doesn't make it over the net. Hitting error on the Saints. So the Saints try to go with a two ball behind uh, the setter Ross, and it doesn't work as uh, the timing is just off. That ball served into the net, and the Saints are on the board. Daisy will check out, number three. Heriberta to serve. Heriberta on the season, 46 aces. She'll serve it down the middle. That might, might have floated out of bounds. Anderson will swing at it. She runs into another player. They'll go backside to Delaney Hogan. Carolyn Morrison goes quick, and it'll be brought back over. 
by the Saints. Morrison in the middle to Mueller, and I'll see if there was a touch. There was a touch. The Saints fan don't, don't, don't agree because I am sitting right in the middle of all of them. London bets in to serve for the cadets, and she'll replace Maddie Anderson. The Boo Bird's out already. Oh, oh. no whistle. Betts was going to serve. Back row for the Saints will be Burkhart, McTagg, and Haraberta. Not sure what the confusion is here. Oh, the official down on the floor is over talking to the cadets. There's a tough pass outside to Hogan. She'll wrist it over. Outside to Henline into the double block. Popped up by Mueller. They'll go back outside to Henline. She'll go cross court. Good pass by Burkhart. Outside to Burns. And we'll see if there's a touch. No touch. The officials all looking at each other. Nobody calls touch, and this cadet's out to a, a four-point lead. Difficult pass there by the Saints. They'll go back row now to Burkhart. She'll take a swing at it. In the middle to headline, down the line, and dug up by Heriberta. Outside to Burns. Cross court, dug up by Evans, and Mueller knocks it over. And there's a winner by Matty R Ross, her first, the team's first kill. The whistle blows, and number two, Denning into the lineup. Burns checked out at the last whistle. Denning to serve. Good pass by Evans. Backside now to Mueller. The runner dug up. Hogan will try to tip it over. Outside the headline. She'll get blocked. That ball was going out of bounds. Headline will go cross. Oh, man, flat-footed. And there, right there is Jenna Mueller with the kill. She saw the free ball at the net, and she knew what to do with that. McGaffick into the lineup, and that means Evans will serve. Mueller out. Evans will ser serve it. Good pass by Haribuda. Outs Berta outside to Burkhardt. Blocked. Burkhardt will take another swing at it. She'll go down the line and dug up by Betts. It'll come back over quick. And the Cadets will have another winner. So everything going right right now for Trish Miller's Cadets. The action going quick. We've got a timeout. The Saints take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. So Ryan, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. We're out of the timeout here at Concordia. The Saints uh, trail the cadets 7-2 as uh, the Saints having problems passing the ball right now up to their setter, Matty, Ro uh, Matty Ross. The Saints have been out of system pretty much this entire match, and uh, they have not really. They've only had actually one kill. Evans to serve. Good float serve. Good pass to Ross. She'll go in the middle to Hogan. Cross court. Dug up by Canablo. Good dig there by McTagg. Out backside. Nobody there, so McTagg will send it over. Free ball now. In the middle to Henline. She sees an open shot down the line, and she'll take it, and she has her first kill. I'll tell you the cadets had to find their way midway through the season when they lost Josie Sauer. Jenna Mueller, McGaffick, and Maddie Anderson have really taken over the role on the team as two, three more of the big hitters. Tight ball to the net. Headline hits it. Cross court, and it's good. I think Coach Hauser is asking his back row maybe to take a step back. They're not getting their arms extended early enough. 
to get a good pass. Here's Evans again. She'll serve it right. Heriberta, and it's an ace. Evans with her 20th ace, and the Cadets out to an eight-point lead. There's a good pass. Outside now, Burkhardt off the block. There's a tight ball to the net. Who's going to win that? And I think they're going to call Ann. No, I think they're going to call Carolyn Morrison in the net as her and Ross went up to get the ball, and Ross won that. And that'll send McTagg back to serve. McTagg with her 56 aces at the line. Good pass there by Betts. Outside to him. Headline and she launches it out of bounds. See Trish Miller now trying to walk towards center court. Oh, I thought she was motioning maybe a timeout here. She was looking at Morrison to get the play in. McTagg to serve. There's a pass to Morrison. Headline in the middle and cross court for a winner. Oh, they're saying the ball sailed out of bounds. 10 5. The Cadets. They've, been, they've had a big as lead as big as eight thus far. Good pass by Betts to Morrison. Backside to McGaffick over the double block. Denning will pass it outside to Burkhart. She'll go cross court, and she's dug. Morrison, and the ball will fall. So Morrison with another kill. 11-5 our score. Carolyn Morrison to serve. Canabolo out, and Craig returns for the Cadets. Ellis back into the lineup for the Saints. That ball will go long. And Daisy up off the bench, and she'll replace Heriberta. Maddie Ross to serve. Ross, one of the taller players in Northeast Indiana. When she serves, it's like serving darn near straight down with those long arms. Good pass by Evans to Morris. And McGaffick with a little floater over the top of the net and it's a winner. Headline to serve. Maddie Anderson back into the lineup. She'll replace London Betts. Oh, good serve by Headline. Outside to Daisy with the left hand and she slams it down for a winner. I want to thank Taya Daisy tonight. She helped me with some pronunciations that I had been getting wrong all season for the Saints. And I uh, ran into her as I was coming in, and she uh, got me straightened out. Burkhart to serve. Headline to pass to Morrison, to McGaffick, and she's blocked by Daisy. Saints slowly but surely chipping away at the Cadets' lead. Good pass. Backside to Craig. She'll hit it off the block. Dug up by Burkhart. Backside to Daisy into the double block. And it'll be a free ball now for the Cadets. Evans, Morrison, Craig. And she hits it off of Burns. And she's got a winner. Burns was there. Just couldn't get enough arm on it. Into the game comes Hullinger. She'll replace McGaffick and she'll serve. Mueller also back into the lineup. Hullinger hits the net and it falls over. And the Cadets fans uh, reminding everybody that she's just a freshman. McTagg with a pass to Ross. Backside to Daisy into the double block. Or excuse me, the block of Anderson. And Daisy with her second kill. I like what... uh, Maddie Ross did there. Instead of going outside, she set it all the way to the back. That'll send Maddie Ellis back to serve. Evans back into the lineup for the Cadets. That's a difficult pass. It'll go over the net, slam down. Evans gets it up, and Morrison will send it deep into the back row. Ross now to Daisy. She'll wrist it over. 
Morrison can only go outside to Anderson. She tips it. Burkhart now to Burns, and she'll tip it. A lot of bump sets here. Anderson with the rip at it. Dug up. It hits the ceiling, and Anderson with her first kill of the night. These two teams played a five-setter earlier this season, and that was in the preseason SAC tournament where the Saints won three games to two. Canablo to serve. There's a good deep serve. Daisy will bump set it, and now another free ball for the Cadets. Canablo to Morrison. Backside to Mueller, cross court, dug up by Ross. Burkhart will just set it over. Good play there by Burkhart. Outside to Anderson, off the block. Dug up by Burkhart, and then passed outside to Burns, and she puts it away. What a rally by the Cadets and the Saints. Heriberta back in to serve. Evans to tie her shoe here. That's why we've got a bit of a delay. Daisy and Ellis out now for the Saints. Good pass by Evans. Backside to Mueller, and she had to wait for it. Ross slides it to Hogan, and she hits it out of bounds. So the Saints go with a back slide to Hogan on a two ball, and she hit it out of bounds. Anderson out, bets back in. 16 to 10, our score. There's a good deep serve and another ace. London bets with her 51st ace of the season. So evidently the future bride here at Concordia, a couple freshmen getting action here in the varsity match. Good pass by Herbert to Ross. Backside to Burns, cross court, and that'll go long. Yeah, I can see that from here. It landed in the in the maroon of that circle over there. Clearly out. Timeout on the court. The Saints will take a quick timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. So Ryan, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. We're back here at Concordia High School as the Cadets have raced out to an 18 to 10 lead here in the first set. They've been in control for the majority of the first set. Uh, I think it's the closest we've been is maybe five. So the Saints use another timeout. They'll go with Burns, Hogan, and Ross in the front row. Burkhart, McTagg, and Hera Berta in the back. Betts will serve it. And, ooh, just long by London Betts. Betts will stay in. She'll play in the back row. Whistle. Denning back in. She'll replace Burns. Denning's float serve right at the freshman. In the middle. Tipped over to the left again by Henline. So the cadets have been doing a lot in the middle which is giving their hitters the opportunity to go right or left as Mueller checks out for the cadets and McGaffick will replace her. Evans will serve. There's a tight ball to the net, tipped over. Canablo will set it to Henline, off for the block and another kill. Carolyn Morrison was the one that had got that started. She dug it up, and then you've got Canablo in the lineup who is a, a setter by trait, and she's able to get it to the outside look to Henline. And that ball will sail along. Three service errors in the first set for the Cadets. Says Ellis will replace Hogan, and she'll go to the front row. McTagg back to serve. And she'll serve it right to Henline. 
Morrison goes quick, but right there's McTagg. And then Ellis pops it in the air, but it'll go in the front row in the student section of the cadets. And it's a nine-point league as Craig up off the bench for the cadets, and she'll replace Canablo. During the early part of the season, this they would not make this change. Canablo and uh, Craig were married together, and they would come in at the same time and replace Morrison and Mueller. Outside to Burkhart, the double block a little late, but dug up by Evans. Outside the hand line, just a little more of a two ball. Ooh, and then a couple to Wenger girls crash into each other. Craig will take a swing and get a kill. Craig hit it off the side of her hand, and it had a funky cut to it. And it cut back towards the line, and it's a winner. Morrison will serve again. See if those uh, Saints players are okay. I know Burkhart ran into, I believe, Matty Ellis. Morrison will serve right at Herberta. Denning will pass it, and Evans now to Morrison. Backside to Craig. She'll tip it down the line, and McTagg right there. Outside to Burkhart. Off the block. Morrison outside to Henline. Over the block and dug up by the Saints. Good bump set to the outside of Burkhart. She'll go cross court, and it'll sail long, and the Cadets are smelling this first set. 23-12. to 12. There's a good pass to Ross. She'll tip it behind her head, but right there's Henline. Henline can't do anything with that. The ball just too tight to the net. If you look online, it shows that the Cadets have a loss in conference. They do not. That loss is a loss in the preseason tournament to Dwanger. I'm sure of that. So both of these teams undefeated coming into this match tonight in Summit Athletic Conference play. Ross to serve. Headline to Morrison. She dinks it over and tipped back over as I believe one of the cadets were over the net. It's very important for the cadets. Trish Miller will take a timeout. Why don't we stay right here and uh, we'll talk a little bit about soccer. If I can get that brought up for you real quick here. So soccer tomorrow night here on SummitCitySports.com. We will have a uh, Soccer coming to you live from Carroll and Homestead High School. Uh, Tim Atkinson will be out at Carroll. I will be out at Homestead tomorrow night. We know two of the games tomorrow would be Northrop at Carroll. South will play Homestead. So those are two games. I know some of the games ended last night. I did was not able to update those today on ours. But those games will start tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Pre-game, to, uh, the Parkview Sports Center and pre-game will start, start at 4.50 on Summit City Sports. So out of our timeout here, Maddie Ross to serve. Her team trails by nine. And I know what Trish Miller's thinking because I've seen Maddie Ross come in and just absolutely dominate from this, this service line. And you can't let her get going because if she does, this is generally where the Saints have their big front row line of uh, Daisy, Burkhart, and Ellis. And it's difficult when you have those three in the front and then you've got Ross up there setting the ball to them. So the Cadets looking for a good pass here. They'll put their best two passers in the middle. Craig will take a rip and dug up by Denning. Outside to Burkhart. Little tip and off the block, and she wisely used the block that time. Her first kill of the match, and here come the Saints. Pass by Henline, outside to Henline, off the net, off of the block, dug up by Denning. Outside now to Burkhart. She jumps a little bit early but puts it away. The double block doesn't get there, and she knows what to do with that in the lead, down to seven. See how much longer Trish Miller lets this go. Maddie Ross to serve once again. Good pass. Morrison in the middle to McGaffick. She'll go cross court. And uh, McGaffick will get the kill. And I know what Coach Hauser is telling his young lady, Maddie Ross, don't reach back for the ball. I was always told when I played volleyball, the cardinal sin of volleyball is reaching back and hitting the ball. In line to serve. The Cadets fans on their feet at a set point. Good pass by Denning to Ross. She'll go outside to Desi off the net. And too long, and that will do it for the first set. The Cadets take the first one in impressive fashion. 
25 to 16 over the Saints. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way, offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. We're back live here at Concordia High School. The cadets take the first set, 25 to 16. They controlled that set from start to end. And, uh, man, I, I don't know if I expected that because the Saints have been playing such good volleyball as of late. But the Concordia cadets, I can tell you this, after the injury to Josie Sowers, just something changed with the whole team. I think Trish Miller got the girls to believe that all of them are important. Not just Josie Sauer on the outside or in the middle or on the backside, but everybody. Maddie Anderson, uh, McGaffick has played huge here in the second half of the season, along with Betts from the service area and uh, and Hollinger coming in to make some good plays. So Trish Miller has got the, the troops rolling for the cadets here in the second half of the season. Don't forget, uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look at that sectional I told you I was going to talk about. For the Concordia, for Concordia, this is where they will go. They will go to the East Noble sectional. That will start next week. I'll try to pull this up for you on the 11th. So next Thursday, they will. The first game at East Noble will be East Noble taking on a good Northrop team. That match will be played at six o'clock, and then at 7:30 it'll be Fort Wayne Snyder to take on DeKalb. The winner of East Noble Northrop will play on the 13th on Saturday. They will take on the Carroll Chargers. And then the winner of the Snyder Panthers will take on the DeKalb Barons. And the winner of that game will take on this Concordia Cadet team at East Noble. That game will be played at 12.30. The first game will be scheduled for 11 a.m. at East Noble. So the Cadets will head to the East Noble sectional next week. They'll have Carroll, East Noble, Northrop, and Snyder and DeKalb. We'll take a look at uh, at uh, other parts of the sectionals uh, as we move on tonight here. We'll uh, take a look at, uh, obviously, we'll take a look at where Bishop DeWanger is going here next week. I can tell you where they're going. They're going home to Bishop DeWanger, and that should be one heck of a sectional over there. We will uh, talk a little bit about the DeWanger sectional at the first time out here in our second set. We're ready to go. It'll be Canabolo to serve for the Kadetsha of Henline Evans, Anderson, Morrison, and Mueller. On the court for the Saints will be Ross, Daisy, Ellis, Burkhart, McTagg, and Burns. They'll serve right at Burns. Difficult pass now. Burkhart out of the back row, and she'll hit it long. I, I think even the Cadets fans over there thought that ball might have been good. Canal Blue again for the Cadets. She'll serve it. Oh, into the net, and it drops. That's the second time tonight Canal Blue has done that, and it's worked. The freshman with two aces tonight. Cadets with the 2 nothing early lead. She'll serve right at Burns again. Outside of Burkhart now, back to Burns. She'll just tip it over. Headline now to Anderson. She'll rip it cross court. Dug up. Man, that was a good shot. McTagg will take a swing at it, and it'll go long. Man, I'll tell you what. Maddie Anderson hit a flat-footed shot about as hard as you could hit it right there. Of 
Another good serve and another ace. See if Coach Hauser decides to bring a sub in here. Or if they try to cover up Burns, and they'll probably serve right at her again. They'll go, oh, and it'll hit the net and drop over again. Canablo knows, I know she's not 18, but she needs to give a dollar or two dollars to somebody and buy her a lottery ticket tonight. Off the net again for the her fifth, her fifth, ladies and gentlemen, ace already tonight. And she'll do it again. McTagg there with a good pass to Ross. In the middle to Daisy and off of the block and dug up by Evans. In the middle to Mueller. She'll cross court and dug up by Burkhart. Ellis dug up. Daisy off of the block and that'll do it. The run is over. Daisy will get her third kill and the 6-0 run done by the cadets. But that is a start that Trish Miller will take any day of the week. Maddie Ellis will serve. Hogan back into the lineup for the Saints. And she decides to serve it off the net. The net's very loose. Anderson directly into the double block of Hogan and Daisy. Daisy with her second block of the night. Big crowd here at Concordia. Ellis will go cross court, and it hits the line. So Ellis with an ace. Her 45th of the season. And here come the Saints. Ellis will go right at Henline. Good pass to Morrison. Back row to Henline. Flat footed and dug up by Burkhart. Ross backside to Daisy. Dug up and it'll hit the ceiling. So another good play for the Saints. Daisy with the hot hand here in the second set. Maddie Anderson reaches back and hits it. And a timeout on the court. We'll take a timeout. We're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. There's a running play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Team's ready to come back out on the court. The Cadets, uh, shout out to a quick 6-0 lead here in the second set before the Saints rattled off five of their own points and they trail by one as we come out of this timeout. It'll be Ellis to serve. She, she stays with that cross court serve right at hen line. Surprised she's not coming down the line at Canabalo, to be honest with you. She'll once again serve it at hen line. Good pass to Morrison. Morrison will go quick. Morrison will then hit it back over. Might have been wise off not to do that. Hogan puts it away. Hogan just hung in the air, and Ross hit her with a one ball, and she was able to knock it into some open real estate on the left side. We're all tied up at six. Good pass to Morrison. Backside to Mueller. Off of the block, and it'll go off of, off of, uh, let me see here. That went off of Ellis. So she was in the right spot, just deflected and went the wrong way. So the Cadets will regain the lead here, and they'll send London Betts back to serve. Betts on the night, having a good night from the service line as well. And Herford's Matag will bump it into the air. Bump set outside. Daisy cross. No, excuse me, is that Burns on the kill? She hits it cross court and hits it right to Jake Bird in the student section. Good 
Good tight ball to the net, and Morrison puts it away. I was looking at the official to see if he might call the that the Saints had no opportunity to play the ball, but he let it go. That ball directly into the net. Up off the bench, Heriberta, she'll serve, and Daisy will take a seat. She'll hit a little uh, slice shot there in the middle to, to headline, and it's good. Headline with her for a kill of the night. Evans to serve. Mueller out. McGaffick in for the cadets. Good pass there. Outside uh, Hogan, and she'll put it away. Hogan usually plays in the middle. That time she rotated to the outside, and she gets the kill. Good attack there by the Saints. Denning in now, and she will serve. Good pass by Betts to Morrison. Backside to McGaffick. She'll go cross court and get the touch. McGaffick with her third kill. And back to serve Carolyn Morrison. Craig will come into the lineup. She'll replace Canablo. Morrison serves it right at Denning. Good pass to Ross outside to Burkhart. Way off the net. Hitting air. Anna Burkhart just has not had a really good pass at the net tonight. The Saints will use a timeout. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at their sectional as they will get started next Thursday as well. So the Saints, <laughs> I hate to say this, ladies and gentlemen, they got put in the group of death on their side of the pod. They uh, got put in with a very good Angola team, the team they will play Thursday night at 6 o'clock at Bishop DeWinger. The winner of that match will move on to uh, Saturday morning's match. They will take on the Leo Lions. So three of the area's top teams and maybe three of the state's top teams all put into one pod in that uh, DeWinger sectional. At the bottom of the sectional on Thursday night at 7, it'll be New Haven versus Garrett. The winner of that will move on to Saturday afternoon's match at 11.30, and they will take on the Columbia City Eagles. You know, those matches at 10 and 11.30 is, is what it says, but uh, you always know if you're the second game, it might be a little bit later. So that's where DeWanger finds themselves next week in sectional play. And then it just gets tough after that, ladies and gentlemen, because moving out of that, they'll have a, whoever wins that sectional just absolutely gets one of the toughest teams in the state and the regional which my guess is it's either it's it's going to be Newcastle. They're the defending state champions, but they've got Wapahani and Muncie Burris in their own sectional. That ball was going out of bounds. Henline played it anyways. And Burkhart with the kill. The Saints last year ran into that buzz kill known as Newcastle. A young team that just exploded onto the scene and rode the momentum all the way to a state championship. Burkhart with another kill. She gets a free ball over the net. Her fourth kill and McTagg to serve again. See where McTagg goes, and she serves it into the net. I think she was aiming at the freshman, Betts, so Betts will check out. Anderson in, and line to serve. The Saints need to get a quick transition here to a point because you don't want to leave Henline back in there serving for a long period of time. Here's her jump serve. She'll go right at Burkhart. Good pass. Backside to Ellis. She'll flip it over. Outside. Backside to Craig. And they say touch. And Craig will have another kill. That ball did deflect a funny way, but I don't know if it's just the way Craig hit it. Good pass by Denning. Ross outside to Burkhardt. Double block way late. Somebody ran into the net. Anderson flat-footed. McTagg outside to Burkhardt. Cross court dug up by Anderson. Morrison 
in the back row, attack the headline, jumps too early. Ross over the net. Morrison bump set outside, off of the block, dug up, while Burkhart almost had the play of the night as she went flying for a dig, but it went into the net, and Maddie Anderson with another kill. Headline serves. And it goes into the net. Five service errors tonight. Daisy up off the bench. She'll replace Heriberta. And back to serve will be the senior, Maddie Ross. Evans with the bad pass, and Ross will have an ace. I tell you, Ross, when she serves as a weapon, she's so tall, so long, and she serves that ball about five, six inches over the net, and it drops. Morrison will try to go quick. Nothing there. Ross backside to Daisy. Down the line, and it's good. What a kill by Taya Daisy. Saints will take that. The double block, I think the cadets thought it was going cross court to Burkhart, and they went backside to Daisy. Wow, what a rally again. Denning, oh, nice play by Denning. Backside to Craig, into the double block, and that's a double hit. Blocked by Matty Ellis. What a rally by both teams. The cadets are asking for a towel to mop up the court. It's very warm in here tonight. Very warm outside as the temperatures reach nearly 84 degrees today here in Fort Wayne. One point match we've got now. Trish Miller looking for a good pass. Matty Ellis looking for another point. Just a great crowd, great atmosphere here at Concordia tonight for the SAC Championship. Tough pass there to Morrison. Backside tipped over. A backside now to Daisy and off of the block, and we're tied up at 15. Taya Daisy with her fifth kill of the night to get us all tied up at 15. Anderson all alone there with the block. She had it, went off of her. Outside to Anderson, she'll go into the block and another block by Maddie Ellis. And the cadets will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. So running play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration. We are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Welcome back to Concordia High School. The Saints have come all the way back. They lead 16-15 here in our second set. Don't forget Friday night here on Summit City Sports. We'll have high school football for you. Uh, our games this week will be Concordia at Carroll. Bishop Lures at Southside. Northside will travel to Northrop. Snyder in a big match, a big game against Bishop Dwanger. Dwanger wins that. You're there, your conference champs. And Homestead will take on a very good Wayne team out at Wayne High School. All of those games are set to start at 7. The Parkview Sports Medicine pregame shows will all come on at 6.45. Ross to serve. And her, oh, just by an eyelash did that ball get out. Wow, that one was close. McGaffick will come out. And Hollinger will come in to serve. Last time Hollinger came in, she served an ace right away. Mueller back in as well. And that one goes off the net. Whoa! 
Maddie Ellis with a pounded shot straight down. And they said no net violation, so a big point for the Saints. Ellis with her first kill. Yeah, now the, the Cadets fans are letting the officials have it because Maddie Ellis completely slammed the net on her follow through. Some questionable calls have gone either way, so Burkhart will serve. And her serve just too long, and we're tied back up. Who will the Cadets send back to serve? I believe it's in line. No, Canablo will come in, replace Craig, and she'll serve. Burns back onto the court for the Saints. And they'll serve it right. Good pass by McTagg. Outside, off of the block. Canablo now in the middle to Mueller, into the double block. And quickly goes Morrison. Backside now to Ted Daisy. And it's too long. Both officials confirm it went long. Daisy tried to slap it cross court, put a little too much on it, and sailed it out of bounds. You can feel the tension in here. And there's an ace by Canablo. Her sixth of the match. Coach Hauser's seen enough. We'll take a timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. Only Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Both teams back out on the court. Canablo serves. She'll go down the line. Good pass by McTagg. Ross in the middle to Ellis, and she clobbers it again. Man, Maddie Ellis playing a great game tonight. Just two kills, but two aces, and she'll be back to serve for the Saints. Hogan will check back in. Some confusion here by the cadets on where they want to line up. They'll serve it right at headline. Good pass outside to Anderson. End of the block. Never went over. And we're tied back up at 19. As many balls as we've seen tonight that have hit the net and gone over, that one does not. 19-19. And a chance now for the Saints again. Hogan. Backside to Daisy, right at Canablo. Daisy does it again. Her sixth kill of the match. Ellis will need to have a, a good serve here. Good pass by Henline to Morrison. Oh, good, another good chance for the Saints. Backside to Daisy, no blocker, and it goes for a winner. 21-19, the Saints. Looking up at uh, Trish Miller. She won't use a timeout. Just looking to see in this rotation who will be serving for the cadets if they can get the ball back. And there's a service there. I believe it's going to be Betts who will replace Anderson, and she'll come in to serve. So the freshman with some serious pressure here. She'll have to serve this ball in for the cadets. The Saints completely cover. Ooh, that ball just sails long. You saw the Saints there cover up Burns on that play. Daisy out 
Number three, Heriberta in to serve. She has 47 aces on the season. A good pass there. Back to Henline. She'll just knock it over. Burkhardt to Ross. In the middle to Hogan, and that's a winner. Once the passing of the Saints got going, they were able to get back into this match. They had not passed the ball well in the first set. Morrison goes backside. Hogan outside to Burns, and she'll put it away, and we're at set point. Her second kill. Good pass to Morrison, outside, into the double block, and that will do it for the second set. 25 to 20, the Saints. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way, offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. And they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Back here at Concordia High School as the two teams continue to take their break. This season I have done, I don't know, 8, 10, 12 matches for volleyball. I've had straight sets in every single one. Every single one. Dwanger Leo. Concordia Leo. Carol Dwanger. So they've all been beatdowns. Tonight we are finally going to get a four set at least tonight here at Concordia High School. Before we uh, uh, get started, let's take a look at the NCAA rankings tonight. I'm going to update it just to make sure nothing changed overnight. So the top 10 in the NCAA tonight, it'll be BYU. They remain at number one, followed by Stanford and Nebraska, then Texas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Pittsburgh, Penn State, then checking in for the first time this year in the top 10, Creighton. So the, the Creighton with a good season, and they're followed right behind them by Florida. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen Florida play this season, you need to get onto the SEC network and watch them play. When you have about five or six girls that stand over six foot five and two of them that play in the front row, six seven and six and six eight, I believe they are, that is some serious size in college volleyball, and they have it. And uh, I watched them the other night against LSU, and their size just completely, completely dominated. L a good, not just a, a decent LSU team, a pretty good LSU team. So. Uh, check out Florida if you get a chance. But the Big Ten well represented in the top ten once again. One, two, three, four, five teams checking in in the top ten for the Big Ten. So they are well represented once again this year in college volleyball. Well, we're ready for the third set here. You can feel the tension starting to build. You can feel it midway through the, the second set. And it has continued. Concordia rolled in that first set, 25-16. The Saints come back to take set number 20 or set number two, 25-20. These two teams had a classic in the SAC tournament, preseason tournament. The Saints victorious, three sets to two. So the Saints will serve in the, the set, and it'll be Anna Burkhart back to serve for the Lady Saints. A nice crowd tonight here at Concordia on senior night. Good pass by Evans. 
Morrison in the middle. Good dig by Burkhart. Outside to Burn. She'll go off the double block. Outside once again to Maddie Anderson. Cross court. No touch. And the Saints will have a lead. And Maddie Anderson generally doesn't take anything off her swing. And she didn't there. Morrison in the middle, and oh, dug up. And Mueller will get a kill. I thought that ball was going to go down, and then it got dug up. Canablo into the lineup. She'll replace Craig. She'll serve. You see Dwinger making some adjustments here as they move Burns up. McTagg with a good set. In the middle to Ellis, and she'll put it away on the two ball. I really like Maddie Ellis's effort tonight. She'll serve. And she'll serve it into the net. She's trying to put a little more pace on that. Ellis will check out. McTagg back in. So Daisy, Burns, Ross, Hogan, Burkhart on the court for the Saints. Betts will serve. Good pass to Ross, to Hogan, and she knows what to do with that. It's amazing how Delaney Hogan can just get up in the air and just hang there until the ball gets shot right to her. Caraberta with a good serve. It'll be uh, another chance for the cadets now. Henline into the double block. Good penetration there by the defense. That was a double hit. Not called. Some confusion there by the Saints. Now it'll be a free ball for the Cadets, maybe. And now a chance for the Saints. Ross slams it down. First second kill. She could feel that middle part of the court being vacated by the Cadets, and she knew what to do with it. Back to serve, Herberta. Good pass by Evans. Backside to Mueller, and she hit, knocks it off of Burkhart, and Mueller with another kill, her fourth. McGaffick back into the lineup, and she'll replace Mueller. Evans to serve. Burkhart over to get a towel to clean up where she went diving across the floor there. Evans will serve. Down the line. Tough pass. Hogan will wrist it too far out of bounds as she tried to roll it over the top and hit it too far underneath and it sailed out of bounds. We're tied up at four. Evans down the line, off of the net. And Burkhart, back row attack, dug up by Evans. Outside the hen line, she'll hit it with the left hand deep. Outside the Burns, and she puts it away. Burns with her third kill. She'll check out, Denning will check in. Good pass by Betts. Morrison outside the hen line, and she hits it off of, the, of McTagg, and it goes out of bounds. Hen line with her sixth skill. And we're tied up. Morrison to serve. Off of the net, and it drops for Morrison. I don't know if the cadets worked on that in practice over the week, but it has worked to perfection, hitting that white top of the net and dropping over. Good pass to Ross, outside to Burkhart, off of the block, dug up by Henline, backside to Craig, a little bit too high, but she'll find some 
open court and she'll have a winner. Cadets back in the lead by two. Nice job by Craig. That ball was a little higher than she normally gets and she was able to slam it down. There's a difficult pass outside of Burkhart over the top of the block. They're gonna have to hit it over. And then a headline with another kill. Her seventh. So momentum has switched now to the cadet side. Morrison with another float serve. Good pass by Denning. Hogan off the block, dug out by Evans. Hogan saw that coming outside now. Off of the block and dug up. That ball will go out of bounds as Henline will get another kill. Nine five. Another difficult pass outside to Burkhart. And it goes long. She tried to go cross court. And that'll be a timeout. We'll take a timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. There's a running play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Timeout over here at Concordia. Well, almost over. The Saints had to use one of their timeouts. They trailed 10 to 5 here in the second set. The first set went to the Cadets. 25-16. The second set went to DeWinger 25-20. Morrison to serve. She'll serve it right at McTagg. Good pass. Outside now to Burkhart. Off of the head of Craig. Hogan will take a swing. And they'll say Craig in the net. Point to the Saints as Hogan will have another kill. McTagg to serve. Tag to serve, her team trails by four. And now we have a ball being thrown across the court. McTag serves. Right at Evans, tough pass to Betts. She'll bump set it now to headline. She'll swing and go down the line. In the middle to Ellis, off of the block, dug up, dug up by Morrison. Wow, McGaffick with a heck of a move there to win that point. She just out-muscled Maddie Ross. Betts will check out. Anderson checks in. And line serves. Good pass there. Outside. Burkhart will go over the double block, and she knows what to do with that. Her fifth kill of the night. And it's a four-point match. Heriberta out. Daisy in and Ross to serve. Ross had a big service game last time. In the last set, I think she served five or six in a row. She'll serve it right at Evans. In the middle to McGaffick. Outside to Burkhart and out for the Saints. And she hits under the ball way too far. And it goes out of bounds. Back to serve, Hullinger. There's a good pass. 
In the middle to Ellis, and she'll put it away. Maddie Ellis having a good night. So McGaffick out. Hullinger out, and Evans in for the cadets. Burkhart will serve. Both teams back to the original starting lineups. Mueller hits it into the block, and it goes over. Solo block for Ellis. I would love to have a back row of Burkhart and uh, Allie Barkas of Blackhawk Christian. You could just put those two back there and let them roam, and they would be able to get every ball. There's a slide backside off of the block, and it goes through for Craig. It's good. Craig has played very well tonight. She's picked up the slack after Sowers went out, and uh, she's had some big points tonight for the cadets. It'll be a Canabolo to serve and see if she'll serve down that right line again. Burns will pass it. Nobody there, and it's an ace. Canablo's seventh ace of the match. Tough pass to Ross. Back row attack now. Burkhart with the winner. Hogan back up off the bench. She'll play place McTagg, and she'll go into the front row. Ellis will serve. She likes to serve cross court. She's been going right at headline all night. Whoa, that ball just missed. Her last two serves have just missed. Betts will check in. Anderson out for the cadets. Oh, an ace for Betts. She served it right at Daisy. Daisy had to go through her hands for an ace. She got caught in between on that play. McTagg with a good pass to Ross. Backside to Daisy, off the block of headline. And Daisy with another kill. On the night, our leading killer, our person with the most kills, Taya Daisy. Hera Burden to serve. Good pass by Evans. Morrison in the middle. A dug up. Somebody's got to knock it over. And it goes long. Right at the feet of Coach Hauser. So Hera Burden checks in and gets two quick points for the Saints. She has a really nice high float serve. Now she'll go with a little more pace. Good pass by Henline. Backside of Mueller, tight. Off the head of Hogan, and it'll go out of bounds. Mueller with her fifth kill. Evans to serve. Cadets back in the lead by five. And a service there. Quickly up off the bench for the Saints. Number two, Denning. She'll replace Burns, and she'll serve. Good pass by Evans. And there's a play that worked to perfection in the first half as Henline gets her ninth kill of the night. They ran that play numerous times in the first set where they tried to go right in the middle. And timeout on the court. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. So Ryan, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. 
Join our winning team today. Well, it's been an exciting night here at Concordia High School. This is the championship game for the conference tonight. The winner of this in their controls their own destiny the rest of the way. If Concordia wins, they know they think they play one more match against Northrop, and they'll have to beat them, and they would be the outright champs in the Summit Athletic Conference. They lead this set 18-13, to 13, and they're tied one set apiece here at Concordia High School. Carolyn Morrison to serve. Outside to Burkhart, into the net, and it never went over. Straight into the net, and the cadets with the commanding six-point lead. A lot of energy tonight for the cadets on senior night. Good pass by McTagg over to Ross, and she'll have the kill. She went quick, couldn't do anything with it, so she just hit it over with her left hand, and that'll send McTagg back to serve. For the, for the Saints. Craig again, and that's nothing she can do with that. Backside to headline, over the double block, and it, no, it's out. The official originally said in, but meant out. Headline tried to go cross court. That double block was taking away the line. Ellison Ross right there. Now McTagg will switch over to the near side to serve. She'll serve it right at bats. Morrison now in the middle to headline over the block, dug up by Denning. Outside of Burkhart, and she puts it away. Burkhart feeling it here. Her seventh kill. Timeout on the court. We'll take a timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. McTagg serves. Her team trails by three. Headline directly into the net. Nothing she can do with that. She probably would have been better off just trying to hit it deep. Coach Hauser trying to get his Saints team fired up. All three of these sets have been just sets of runs by both teams. Craig over the block. Oh, it hit Denning in the face and continued to go off of the block. Dug up by Yerberta. Outside and still playing. Wow. Headline cross court. Burkhart quick. And I believe it was Ross who hit that over with her left hand. Well, Coach Hauser, if they win this set, he's going to go back and look at the tape, and he's going to see Mariah Denning's unbelievable dig off her forehead. Bets to Morrison, outside to Henline, down the line, no touch. We're tied up. McTagg to serve once again, four straight points in a row. Betts now, backside to Craig, and she'll hit it off the block, and it'll go into the front row. Craig's sixth kill. Betts out, headline to serve. Anderson back in for the Cadets. 
Headline has served cross court quite a bit as well. Good pass by Burkhart. In the middle to Ellis. And we're tied back up. Maddie Ellis with her fifth kill. 2020 danger time for the cadets. Is one of the toughest servers in the area back there to serve, Maddie Ross. Cadets will need a good first pass. They get one from Henline, backside to Craig, off of the block. McTagg to Ross, middle to Ellis, and the Saints have the lead. Cadets got the pass, but couldn't get the kill. Good pass by Evans in the middle. McGaffick dumps it over, and it'll go out of bounds. McGaffick's fifth kill, we're tied up at 21. Hullinger in to serve for the Cadets, the freshman. Coming in in a tough spot. Off the net, good pass. Backside now to Burkhart and off of Morrison. And the Saints back in the lead. Burkhart's eighth kill. She got, took a while for her to get rolling, but she's going now. Let's go, Anna! Burkhart serves. Her team leads by one here in the third set. Good pass there. In the middle to Mueller, hits the ceiling, and nothing the Saints can do with it after it's dug by McTagg. Tied up at 22, that'll send Canablo back to serve. And this is where the Cadets have had some good success with her serving tonight. See if she stays serving down that line. She does, good pass by McTagg to Ross. Backside now to Daisy, off of the block, dug up. And they'll say point to the Saints. Trish Miller looking for an explanation. No, she'll ask for a timeout. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. So Ryan, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Time out here in the third set. The Saints lead 23-22 over the Cadets. Had a little bit of a surprise here at Concordia tonight before we even got started as Addison Agin checked in tonight and she sang her our national anthem and everybody enjoyed it. I can tell you that. It was spectacular. Maddie Ross to serve. Or excuse me, Maddie Ellis to serve. Got to get those Maddies right. Ellis, she'll probably go cross court once again. She does, right at headline, good pass now to Morrison. Backside to Mueller on the slide. Over the block, dug up. Backside to Daisy, and dug up. Morrison will knock it over. Burkhart will set it outside of Burns. She'll get it off of a blocker. And now they'll have a joust that's in that. Headline with it, they'll go outside to Anderson. Oh, off of, wow, what a hit by Maddie Anderson. She sent it down the line, and I don't think that Ross was expecting that ball, and she erupted on it. And we are tied at 23 with London Betts to serve. Wow, I was thinking she was going to go cross court as well. Good pass by Daisy. They'll go right back to her, and she'll knock it off the block. Set point. Go, 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 go. 
Herberta to serve for the Saints on set point. They'll serve it. Good pass to Morrison. Backside to Mueller. Off of the block. And we're tied up. Mueller's seventh kill. You have to win by two, so Evans will serve for the Cadets. Good pass to Ross. Ross outside to Hogan. Off the block. Dug up by Betts. Morrison outside to Henline over the block. Back outside now to Burns, and she's blocked. Now Burns will try again. She'll hit it too long. Set point the Cadets. Looks like we might have a timeout. No, Coach Hauser will not use a timeout. He's calling for a special play here. He's looking at Matty Ross and motioning he wants a different play ran. There's a good serve, good pass by McTagg, outside to Hogan, and she'll put it away, and we're tied up again. Hogan with a big point. That'll bring Denning in to serve for the Saints. Coach Hauser with this uh, cleaning up of the court. He's talking to Matty Ross. He was motioning to her before the last serve what he wanted to go with there. I'm not sure if, uh, well, maybe he wanted Hogan to stay on the outside to hit. Because he was pointing to the outside. Denning serves. Good pass to Morrison. Outside, over the double block, and dug up by Denning. Hogan hits it over. That was a miss hit. In the middle to McGaffick. Dug up by Canablo. Outside. Cross court. Off of a blocker. Back row attack now. Good chance for the Cadets. In the middle, Henning. She'll drop it over. And we're at set point once again. Henning has done that probably six times tonight. Our headline has done that six times tonight. Carolyn Morrison serves for the set. McTagg with the pass to outside now to Burkhart, cross court, and she'll have it. Burkhart answers back for the Saints. Hogan out, Ellis in, and McTagg to serve. Wow, what a match, what a set. Morrison at the bump set to Henline. She'll go cross court off of McTagg, off the ceiling, and Henline with 11 kills. And Henline will serve for the set. Third time that the Cadets have served for this set. The Cadets fans all clapping. Student section ready to go. Burkhart and a couple players moving around in the back row. Headline will go cross court. I'm almost certain of that. She does. Now a chance for the cadets to take this set outside. Dug up. Uh -oh, back row attack now. Dug up by Anderson. Backside to McGaffick off of a, a dig. It's going to be a free ball for the cadets. McGaffick now, they'll go backside to Craig, and she hit it too long. She probably didn't need to cut it that much. She might have just been better off to hit it into the block, and we're tied back up at 27, and the ever-dangerous Matty Ross back to serve for the Saints. It hit the line, it hit the line. Ace, Maddie Ross, her second. Set point now for the Saints. Ross to serve again. Sorry, I can't see the court, ladies and gentlemen. All the fans are up in front of me. There's a good pass in the middle, and straight down is McGaffick. Her six kill, tied up at 28. 
Well, if you didn't take your heart medication before you started watching tonight, you might want to, after this set, go get it and take it because the cardiac kids are doing it tonight here. Backside of Burkhart. Oh, what a dig there by Craig. Anderson into the block, and it'll fall, and it'll be set point again for the cadets. Their fifth set point here. Let's see if they're, they're going to leave McGaffick in to serve. She hasn't served one time tonight. She'll serve a floater. Denning falls down. Daisy off the block, dug up by Anderson. They'll go backside to Craig, down the line, and dug up by Denning. That should have been a double hit. No call. Outside, Anderson over the block. We got a player down in the middle of the court, and that's the senior, Matty Ross, and Daisy puts it away. We have an injury on the court as the senior setter down on the court, Matty Ross. She's holding her right knee. Did not see what happened there. I don't know if she stepped on somebody or what, but she went down, stayed down. Denning also fell on the exact same place. She slipped on some water, and she went down. So with the injury timeout, we'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on SummitCitySports.com. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments from the from the sky. 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 This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in the... We're back after the injury timeout. Let's uh, go ahead and reset here. We're tied at 29 here in the set, the third set. Maddie Ross, the senior setter and leader of the Saints was injured on the last play after Taya Daisy put it away. We saw a few players go down for the Saints in that uh, rally there. It's a good thing the Saints also have another very good setter on their team. Uh, Lions now will be the setter. She's done a nice job on the season. She has 20, 227 assists, so she's in a good replacement for Maddie Ross. What you lose with Ross is you lose a lot of height in the middle. And uh, I'm not sure. They may have taken uh, Maddie Ross straight. Nope, she's sitting down in front of me with her father, John Ross. So it'll be Burkhart to serve. We're tied up at 29 here in our third set. 
Good pass to Morrison. Outside to Anderson. Into the block and, and out of bounds. Anderson with her sixth kill. Sorry, her fifth kill. And that was sent Canavolo back to serve. Set point for the cadets. Their sixth one here in this third set. She'll serve it right at McTagg. Lions will back set it now to Daisy. She'll tip it over. Outside to Anderson. Into the block and it'll fall and that will do it. Anderson with the winner. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way, offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting me up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. Back here at Concordia High School, a subdued crowd right now, especially on the Saints sideline as uh, Matty Ross, they're, uh, one of the top players in the state, injured late in that third set. It looked like a, a knee injury, uh, potentially a bad knee injury. And uh, she has, uh, I believe, I'm going to stand up and take a look. So if you see my big orange shirt in the way, that's because I'm trying to see if they have removed her from the complex I see her father, and yes, I do see a trainer with her, and they're down looking at. Actually, I believe I believe it's her, it's her ankle, not her knee. Because uh, I see the trainer looking at her, at her ankle right now. So, uh, the best case scenario is it is an ankle rather than a knee. So uh, maybe they can get her taped up and go back out on the court, but it doesn't look good right now for the senior setter as she remains uh, down there with a trainer. I've seen a couple. This is a second injury I've seen here at Concordia this year. I saw Allie Barkas from uh, Blackhawk Christian go down with what was at the time. We didn't realize how bad it was, but she had a very bad knee injury where she was uh, tore her ACL and both of her meniscuses in her knee. And uh, she's the shell for the season. She'll be ready for college volleyball next year at Ferris State. Yeah, it looks like the, to me they are taking a look at her ankle more than anything else on Ross. So Lions will have to pick up the slack here in our fourth set. And you see the players for Concordia going and get towels. There must be quite a bit moisture out on the court. It is super hot in the gym right now. If you, uh, I, I grew, you know, I, I went to high school here and. Uh, you get this place completely full, and it'll get over 95, maybe maybe 100 degrees in here with a full house, and it's warm outside as well. So the whistle blows, and I'll take one last look at Maddie Ross. Yeah, it's a, it's an ankle injury. They're, they're looking at the top of her foot. So um, Lions will have to be the center the rest of the way now for the Saints. Don't count the Saints out, ladies and gentlemen. They are absolutely loaded. Canablo to start our four set. Thank you for watching tonight here on Summit City Sports. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Summit City Sports. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page for updated promotions. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Outside of Daisy and Canablo. No, holy cow. Carolyn Morrison ran all the way into the stands and ran right in to Maddie Ross. She can't go anywhere. She's not safe. one nothing Saints. Ellis to serve. Yeah, 
There's a difficult pass. Morrison will dig it up, and she'll have an ace. Ellis third ace, and the Saints are up to love. And that ball will go long. L service there gives the cadets a point. I guess the only really saving grace for the Saints is if it's just an ankle injury, Ellis or Matty Ross doesn't do a lot of jumping on the court. So setting the ball won't be any issue for her. And they could probably rest her all the way to the sectional next Thursday. Lions now to Daisy, and she'll hit it off the ends of her fingers, and it'll go long. Betts will serve, and that ball's long. Yarberta up off of the, Heriberta up off the bench, and she, she'll come in, and looks like she's going to serve. Yeah, I thought Burkhart was going to go back and serve, but Heriberta to serve. Good pass to Morrison in the middle of the Mueller, dug up by Burkhart. Outside to to Burns, and she's got herself a winner, her fourth kill. I told you the Saints are dangerous. It doesn't matter who the setter is. Might be a little bit different timing between her and the rest of the hitters. There's a good pass outside. Handline dug up by Burkhart. Hogan off of the block and dug up. Nice bump set to the outside of Burns. She'll just tip it over. Bump sent to Handline. Off of the block, and she's got another kill. Her 12th of the night. We've seen Henline this year. She's done it from the from the outside hitting. When she gets rolling, it's hard to stop her. And when she's back serving, Evan serves for the cadets. A couple players get in the way of each other there. See if they can even get it over. And it'll go out of bounds. We're tied up at four. Hera, Berta, and McTagg got some communication issues right there on that last serve. Backside now. Cross court. And Burns has another kill, her fifth. Saints regain the lead as Denning comes in. She'll replace Burns. Good pass by Betts to Morrison. Outside to Denning, tight to the net. Down the line and dug up by Denning. Outside to Burkhart, into the net, and she's got a winner. Her 10th kill. Burkhart saw that the block was way off the net, so she slammed it straight into it, and it fell on the Concordia side. Denning to serve. Outside, single blocker there, and Lions not able to stop Henline. And she's got 14 kills. Morrison to serve. She'll go right at Denning. Good pass to Lions. Outside to Burkhart. Dug up by Evans. Now back to Henline. Down the line and too far. Matty Ellis up off the bench, and she'll come in, and she'll replace, I believe, Daisy. McTagg will serve. And they'll have mop-up duty once again. McTagg to serve. Her team leads by two. Good float serve, tough pass to Morrison. Headline with a little runner and goes straight into the net. I'll see if uh, Coach Trish Miller uses a timeout right here. She will not. Mc 
tag will serve once again. Good pass by Henline to Morrison. Back to Henline, over the block, dug up by Burkhart. Lyons sends it over, and then it's sent back. Lyons in the middle, and it's Ellis with another kill. Her seventh. Timeout on the court. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. There's a running play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Concordia leads two sets to one over the Wenger, but they trail here in the fourth set, nine to five. The Saints will be without their, uh, one of their seniors, Maddie Ross, injured it late in the third set. And she will be done for the night, apparent ankle or knee injury. Good pass by Henline. They'll go in the middle to McGaffick, and she'll have another kill. Mueller and McGaffick look so much alike, I always have to wait to see their faces before I say who made the kill. And that will bring uh, Maddie Anderson back into the lineup. In line about trip when she served that. They'll go back over and a good play there by Lyons. <laughs> Caught the cadet sleeping and she just flipped it over the net. Lyons will serve. Good pass. Backside to Craig. Dug by Lyons and it'll hit the official. They'll say the Saints were in the net. And Craig will have her. Let's see here. She'll have her seventh kill. Hulling her into the lineup. She'll serve. There's a good pass to Lyons. She'll go backside to Burkhart. Good idea. Off of the block. And she has got 11 kills. When in doubt, set it to Burkhart. And that's what the Saints have done in almost every big point situation tonight. I say even set a tour in the back row if you have to. And she'll serve. Good pass by Henline to Morrison. Backside to Craig. Over the block. Doug of McTagg. Free ball chance now for the Cadets. That's not going to make it over. Burkhart just couldn't get enough on it. She was trying to back up and hit it at the same time. Subs. Canablo in. Craig out. And Canablo will serve. Canablo will be the, well, she'll be the heir apparent setter here to Carolyn Morrison next year. And she'll have another ace. That is her eighth. She just puts a lot of pace on it. And if you take a step back and try to hit it, it's on top of you before you know it. And that one goes out. Tried to go to the same place, but whistled it out about number seven in to serve. Gabby Hall. Hall won the season with 31 aces. She'll jump serve it. Good pass by. Evans outside to Anderson, over the block, dug up by Lyons. Anderson will play it. They'll go back to Anderson, tight to the net, off of there. And they'll say point Concordia. Bunch of players right up there close to the net. I wasn't sure who it went off of. Hogan, no, it looks like uh, Ellis will check back in for the Saints and replace Hall. Betts will replace Anderson and she'll serve. The 
tag to Lions. Now outside to Burns, and she'll have another kill. First seven. Saints back in the lead by three. Caraberta will serve. Outside the hen line, a little tight to the net. She'll tip it long. In the middle to Hogan, and she'll jam it off of Evans for the kill. I wasn't sure if Hogan and uh, Lyons would have the same timing as uh, Ross and Hogan, but they sure did on that play. Morrison with a tough pass. It'll go over the net and slam down by Lyons. Oh, that ball was clearly in. Yeah, that ball was clearly in. The up official overruled the two side officials. That was a good call. Backside now to Mueller, dug up there by Burkhart. McTagg will swing at it, headline with it. Back to headline, she'll tip it over. And right there's the Saints this time. Whistle as a player went sliding under the net for the Saints. So a dangerous play there. And the Cadets will have the ball, and they trail by four. Evans right at McTagg. Lions outside to Hogan. Oh, she just... Oddly uh, hit it, like punched it with her fist. It went through the double block, and it was a winner for Delaney Hogan. And that'll bring Denning in to serve. Good pass by Betts. Backside to McGaffick. Canablo saves it, and it's going to go over. We'll play on. McGaffick with a great play. Outside of Burkhart, she'll tip it over and dug up by Betts. Outside, tight to the net. Now DeWanger with a chance. Hogan slams it down and gets another chance. And then Hogan hit the net on her follow through. So Canablo out, Craig in. Morrison serves. Good pass by Denning. Lions will bump set it outside. Dug up by Hinline. Backside to Craig. She'll tip it over. And can they catch up to it? Now a chance for the Cadets again. There's a combo play, and then they try to go quick over the net. Backside to Craig. She'll tip it down the line. Dug up by Matag. Middle to Hogan off of the block. And they'll say Craig under the net. Point to the Saints. Remember, the winner of this is your SAC champions this year. Five-point lead again for the Saints. McTagg serves. Good pass by Betts to Craig, the runner, and it's good. Craig having a good night tonight for the Cadets. Eight kills. Henline serves. Betts out. Anderson in for Trish Miller's Lady Cadets team. Good pass by Denning to Lyons. She'll tip it over quickly. Bump set out to Anderson. Off of the block and dug up. Lyons outside to Burkhart. Off of the block and she's got a winner. Wow, they said no kill that it went out of bounds. I thought it was clearly a tip. Pass by Burkhart. Outside to Burkhart. Blocked and straight down by Craig. Very nice job by Coach Hauser taking a timeout right there as uh, 
a play that didn't go their way and kind of unsettled his Saints team. And so he takes a timeout, and he's going to get a chance to talk to her setter, Lions. We'll take a timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. So Ryan, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Seventeen fifteen in the four set. The Saints leave the cadets. Headline to serve. Good pass by McTagg. A little tight to the net, and it's going to be a winner for Lions. Maddie Anderson hit it off her hand. It came back over the net, and it was a winner. Back to serve, Lions. Her jump serve. Good pass by Evans. Outside to Anderson. No blockers there. Dug up by McTagg. Outside now to Burkhart, and she slammed it into the net. Well, they say the roof, the cadets, uh, student sections say roof, but I don't think that ball ever got over the net as McGaffick will serve for the cadets. The cadets just cannot get past this two points. Good pass by McTagg to Lyons. She'll go backside to Burkhart. Down and off the block. Dug up by Henline. McGaffick will send it over. Free ball time now. Lyons will have a nice set with one hand. Outside to Ellis. Hits the ceiling and she'll have a winner. Nineteen sixteen. Ellis has got some power tonight, no matter flat-footed or jumping. Burns back in to the lineup for the Saints. And Burkhart serves. Anderson. That's a carry. It wasn't called. But the point still goes to the Saints. Timeout on the court. Concordia will take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish. That we Timeout is over. The Saints lead by four and Burkhart serves. Don't forget, tomorrow night here on Summit City Sports, we'll have high school soccer from Carroll and Homestead starting at 5 o'clock. Anderson to Morrison, to Mueller, and she'll put it away for a winner. Mueller's ninth kill. Lead back down to three. Canablo in to serve. See where she goes with this. She's been staying down this near sideline. She looked cross court. Nope, she'll go right at McTagg. Good pass. Lions backside to Daisy, and she'll kill it. Daisy's 11th kill. And Gabby Hall returns to serve for the Saints, and she'll replace Maddie Ellis. Good pass by Henline. 
They'll go backside to Mueller on the slide. A couple players run into each other for the Saints. Burns into the block, and she'll have another kill. And a five-point lead now for the Saints. And they got to clean up some perspiration on the floor. We saw Burkhart and Hall run into each other on that play. Hall to serve once again. Evans to Morrison. Headline will hit flat-footed. Now a chance for the Saints to get some more points. Hogan, whoa! Into the face of Evans. Her eighth kill. Evans saw it coming but couldn't get her hands up in time and took one right in the neck. Let's go, Kevin! Can the Saints force a fifth in deciding set? Anderson will swing, go cross court, and too long. And we're at set point here in the fourth set. Remember the fourth set here, or the fifth set, we will only play to 15, the winner by two. Call to serve. I'm going to have to watch this off my monitor. All the fans standing up directly in front of me. Here's the serve. Good pass. Morrison will go quick, and it will hit the ground. It's the third time tonight Morrison's got that to work. Betts will come in and replace Anderson. 24-18, Betts has got to serve it in. Just a freshman. He'll serve it right at McTagg. Good pass to Lyons to Hogan, and it'll go. The Saints take set number four. The Saints take set number four, 25-18, and we're headed to a fifth set. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way, offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far, so they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. Welcome back to Concordia High School. We are ready to go for the fifth set here at Concordia. As a little journey plays in the background and everybody up and singing. Speaking of singing tonight, we were uh, very lucky to uh, not know who our guest singer was going to be for the national anthem. None other than Addison Agent of Concordia High School, the star on Fox this past year as she came in and sang the national anthem. What a nice job she did here at Concordia High School. Once again, I want to thank our sponsors tonight, Parkview Sports Medicine, Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan, Big Eyed Fish, and the University of St. Francis. Parkview Sports Medicine continues to lead the way in Northeast Indiana. Our specialized sports medicine team offers direct access to physical therapy and sports physicians in our new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic located at Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse. No referrals needed, saving you time and money. Visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more. Don't forget this Friday night we'll have high school football coming to you Summit Athletic Conference action as we're headed to the 
not our last week, but uh, I think our eighth week of the season as a sectional draw coming here shortly for all the teams. We'll have Concordia traveling to Carroll. Our Bishop Lures will travel to South Side. They won't have far to go. North Side will travel out to Spooler Stadium to take on the Bruins. The, the Snyder Panthers will come to Zollner Stadium to take on the Bishop DeWinger Saints. The Saints win that. They are your conference champs. Homestead travels to Wayne. All games to start at 7. Parkview Sports Medicine pregame shows will all come to you live at 645 right here on Summit City Sports. Wow, we are ready for a fifth set. We'll play to 15. The, you can feel the tension in here now. As hot as it was earlier, it is about to get super hot in here. I'm, maybe the fans will stand for this whole set. It'll be Anna Burkhart to get us started here in the fifth set. Usually a team that gets out to at least a three-point lead is tough to beat in a 15. Oh, it's, no, wait. What did the official say? He called it out. All right. He quickly snapped that flag back like he was calling it in. And Canabalu to serve. This time she'll go cross court at Burkhart. Lions outside to Molly Burns, and she has another kill. Hogan in, Ellis and McTagg out. Hall comes in to serve along with Taya Daisy into the lineup. Hall finished off the last set. Good pass by Henline to Morrison. She'll go over the net, dug up by Hall. Outside now, Burns with another big swing. Her ninth. And the Saints take the lead. Yeah, I see what the, the coaches are telling Lions, their setter, to set that ball good and high. Good serve. Outside to Anderson. She'll hit it through the block and dug up by Burkhart. Lions outside to Burns, into the double block and dug up. Another chance for Burns. Over it and dug up by Henline. Outside to Anderson. Off the block and it'll be a winner. That ball hit, I believe. I believe that ball hit Taya Daisy's hand. She's looking down at it. Six kill for Anderson. We're tied up at two. She'll check out and Betts will check in. Betts will serve. Daisy with the pass. Lions outside to Burns over the double block. Betts outside now to Henline. She'll swing at it. And another chance for the Cadets. In the middle to Henline. Blocked by Taya Daisy. Her third. So the Cadets went to that middle play again. And Daisy would have none of that. Araberta to serve. Every point crucial here in a 15-point set. Good pass. Morrison backside to Mueller. Dug up by Burkhart. Outside now to burn. She'll go cross court. That might have gone long. Headline with it over the, the blockers. Lions to Hogan in the middle. Off of the block. Outside now to Henline, off of the block, and finally the ball gets put away. Alyssa Henline with her 15th kill. Evans to serve. We're tied up at three after one of the longest rallies of the match. I'm sure some of the legs starting to go away from some of these girls. It is hot in here. There's a good pass, a bump set now. Burn swings, dug up. Outside. Into the double block, and it'll go over. Nope, Morrison will tip it. She'll go down the line, and she'll have a winner. Forty with their first lead here in the fifth set. Evans to serve once again. You look in that back row. Who do you want to serve to? They'll serve it right at Heriberta. They'll go outside now to Hogan. Off of the block, dug up by, I think, Canablo hit it. 
She reached back. Betts would have had a shot at it. And it'll be Denning in to serve as Burns takes the seat for the Saints. Tied up at four. And we had to have a shoe tied up over there. Caraberta ready to go. And Denning ready to serve. Difficult pass there. Go right back to Henline. She'll tip it far out there. And now it'll be four hits in line with an awkward 16th kill, to say the least. That'll put Morrison back to serve. Craig in, Canavolo out. I think if I was the Cadets, I'd try to get the ball in the middle to McGaffick once here. Difficult pass, Lions to Hogan, and bang, she puts it away. Her ninth kill, and we're tied up again. That'll send, send McTagg back to serve. Let's go, McTagg! Good pass in the middle to McGaffick. She'll send it deep. We'll have a tight ball to the net. Who's going to win at Lionsville? The Cadets just did not get close enough to the net to try to joust it. 6-5. The Saints, the winner of this set, will be your Summit Athletic Conference champions this year. Outside the hen line, the block gets there late. And she's got another kill. Bats out, Anderson in, headline serves. Now the back row shifts for the Saints. Good pass by McTagg. Lions backside of Burkhart. And she's got another winner. Burkhart with her 12th kill. And that'll send Lions back to serve. Daisy back into the lineup for the Saints, along with Ellis. An ace for Lions. Timeout on the court. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. There's a Ryan play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. We're still here at Concordia High School. We are in the fifth set. The Saints lead eight to six. We'll play to 15. The winner has to win by two. Lions will serve. The Saints lost Maddie Ross at the end of the third set. They have not missed a beat. Lions will serve it again. In the middle to McGaffick, into the double block. Outside now to Anderson, over the block, off of Lions' face. And a winner for Maddie Ellis. Ellis with nine kills. The Saints starting to feel it. They lead by three. Tough pass, and that ball sent deep. Lions outside to Burkhart off of Evans. Middle attack, and Henline with the winner. Henline's 18th kill. Hullinger in to serve, McGaffick out along with Evans. Evans won't be on the bench for very long. Off the net, ooh, and can they save it? No, Ace Hullinger. 
first second. One point match once again as she waits for a ball. I'm sure Tris Miller would have preferred it to go safely over the net. There's a good pass. Lions in backside of Burkhart. Nobody there to stop her. Her 13th kill, and she'll serve. Her team leads by two, five points away from taking this game, taking this set, and winning the Summit Athletic Conference title this season. Off the net, and it'll be another chance for the Saints. Lions to Daisy, over the block, hits the ceiling. Craig just knocks it in the air, and now a chance for the Saints. Lions in the middle. That ball never went over. Hit straight into the white tape. One point set here as Canablo back into the lineup. She'll serve. She's been coming down the near side. She'll come right there again. Good pass by McTagg. Lions backside. Daisy with another winner. Her 12. Hall to serve. It's going to be tough picking up Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game tonight. Evans lets it go and it hits the line. Ace for Hall. Three points away from a Summit Athletic Conference title. You can feel it over here on the Dwanger side. They're all sitting on the edge of their seats. Evans to Morris. Morrison over to Mueller off the block. Her 10th kill. Cadets need to get something going here as Anderson will come out of the lineup and it'll bring Betts back in to serve. You picked a good night to watch volleyball here on Summit City Sports. There's a long serve, gonna hit the roof. Ooh, and a couple more players run into each other. Mueller into the block and dug up. Morrison will set it backside the headline. Nobody there, ball hits the roof again. Lions to Hogan, dug up by Betts. Outside the headline, down the line and dug up by Burkhart. Lions backside to Daisy, nobody there, and dug up by Betts. Bump set to the outside to Daisy, off the block and dug up by Evans. Headline with a tight ball off of the block. Lions outside to Molly Burns, and it goes down! Hits the net and gets a roll. Her 10th kill. Wow, what a rally. Hera Berta in to serve as Daisy checks out. Timeout on the court, the cadets. We'll take a timeout. We're watching high school volleyball on Summit City Sports. Only Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration. We are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan. We are back out of the timeout. The Saints just two points away from taking this match and the Summit Athletic Conference title. Hera Berta to serve once again, the cadets in need of a very good pass. There's a good pass. Morrison backside to Mueller, off of the block. Mueller over to Morrison, backside now to Henline, a little tight. Down the line and dug up by Burkhart. Hogan with it into the net. Almost found some real estate off the ground. A 
Swing. Lions to Hogan off the block, dug up by Canablo. Morrison will go backside and dug up by Burns. And now, oh, that's a carry by Henline, and we are at set point. Set point, ladies and gentlemen, and SAC title on the line with this serve. Once again, I can't see the court, so I'm going to have to do it through the monitor. Good pass there by Henline. They'll go back to Henline. She'll jump early and woo! Took a huge swing and gets another kill, her 19. I think Coach Hauser will take that because now he's going to have a chance to get it to one of his big hitters. I'm going in the middle to Hogan right here. I'm going to one ball in the middle to Hogan. Concordia has not been able to stop it. Evans will serve right at McTagg. Lions outside to Hogan. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Saints are your SAC champions as they take down the cadets tonight here at Concordia in five sets. What a unbelievable match we had here at Concordia. Wow, 15-11 in, in the fifth set goes to DeWanger, and they'll claim the SAC title again. We'll take a... A timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on Summit City Sports. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral. appointment offering diagnostics x-rays the region's only body composition dexa scan right inside of the sport one park view field house walk in monday through thursday seven to seven friday seven to five and saturday eight to noon for more information go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express we're back for the final time here at concordia high school what a match we had here on summit city sports tonight as the saints Take the final set 15 to 11 over the Concordia Cadets. Can't say enough about the atmosphere in here tonight. It got started with Edison Agent singing our national anthem, and then the Cadets raced out to a first set win 25 16. Dewanger answered back 25 20. In the third set, the Concordia Saints won in overtime 31 29. But in that third set, one of the senior leaders for the uh, Dwanger Saints went down, Maddie Ross. We're not sure if it's an ankle or a knee injury, but she, nonetheless, she did not play the rest of the way. And then Dwanger took the fourth set, 25-18, and the fifth set, 15-11, and they are your SAC champs. For the Concordia Cadets tonight, Maddie Anderson with six kills, Mueller with 10, Craig with eight, Alyssa Henline with 19, McGaffick with seven. Carolyn Morrison with eight. And the cadets are off. They will play on the fourth against Northrop at Northrop later this week. 
for Trish Miller's team. They'll fall to 24 and seven on the season, seven or six and two in, or six and one in conference play. For Bishop DeWanger, they'll improve to 27 and two. They had uh, kills tonight from Delaney Hogan. She had nine. Maddie Ellis with eight. Taya Daisy with 12. Molly Burns with five. Maddie Ross with 10 on the night. Callie Lyons with four big kills, and she came in and she was uh, the superstar there at the end for uh, Callie, or Callie Lyons was for the Saints as she replaced Ross. But the Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game tonight, Anna Burkhart, once again, I think it's either the third or fourth time she's been our Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game. She had 13 kills on the night, and she did a lot of good back row uh, stuff for the Saints. Well, that will do it here from Concordia High School. Bishop DeWanger, your Summit Athletic Conference champs once again as they take down the Concordia Cadets in five sets tonight. For my cameraman, Big Thad, I'm Ryan Dellinger, and you've been watching a special presentation of high school volleyball on SummitCitySports.com. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne Mad Ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's the... Uh... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really 
been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today.